Hi guys, Tejesh here with another video on fun math. Today we are going to learn about mappings of functions. What is mean by mapping of functions? Okay, first, what is a function? Or what is, there is a property of function or we discussed it before that a function exists only if to every element in domain there exists an unique image in codomain means for every element in the domain for every element in the domain there should be a single element or single image in codomain for every element in domain means for every for all the elements of domain there should be an unique element in the codomain means in the set of domain in the set of domain if we take any any value or any element in that set and there should be a single image only one image for that element to every element of a there exists one and only one element of b this is written as f a to b f an arrow from a to b and you should read this as f maps from a to b and this is denoted by y is equal to f of x okay that there is an important point to consider that is from definition it follows that there may exist some elements in b which may not have corresponding elements in set a means if set a is set of 1 2 3 and set b is set of 2 3 4 and 5 and if we take the element 1 in set A, you should get element 2. And for element 2 in set A, you will get element 3 in set B. For element 3 in set A, you will get element 4 in set B. Then there is a remaining value 5. There is a remaining value 5. Means, there may be some elements in B which does not have any corresponding element in A. They may not have any corresponding element in A, but there, there should not be any x left for which there is no element in set B. Means there should be no element left in the set A. There should be no element left in the set A, but there can be some elements left in the set B. Now let's see types of mapping. Kinds of mappings. There are how many kinds of mappings and what are they? There are four kinds of mappings. They are 1, 1, onto or bijective means both injective and surjective. And the second type is 1, 1, into or only injective and not surjective, only injective. And many 1, onto or only surjective or Many one into neither injective nor surjective means not both of them. First, first let's see what is injective function or one one mapping or monomorphic mapping. A function f maps from A to B is said to be one one mapping or injective. This function f is injective if Different elements of A have different images in B. Different elements of A means every different element of A have different images in B. Thus, no two elements of set A can have same image. No two elements of set A can have same image. Means... If there are two elements in set A, they should not have the same image. Means every element of B should be image for unique element in set A. Okay, now let's see what does it mean. Let us consider two sets of elements. A, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 5 
and B three seven eleven fifteen. Now there is a function from A to B which is f of x is equal to two x plus one. f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 then as you guys can see here the element 1 maps to the element 3 and the element 3 maps to the element 7 and the element 5 maps to the element 11 but there is 15 remaining there is there is the element 15 in set b remaining here every okay here if you observe carefully there is not only this 15 remaining that is a not only the observation there is another observation that every element in set a have only one image in set b every element of set a have different images in set b means for one you have 3 and for 3 you have 7 and for 5 you have 11 there is no same there is no same images like for one you have three and there is the image of the images of three and five are not three there are other elements means they not have the same code the same image so every element in domain have distinct images in codomain and from the above from the above definition following mappings are not one one the following here a the image of a is p and the image of b and c are also p so it is not a function and here the image of a is p and the image of b is q and the image of c is also q so this is also not a so this is also not a injective or one one function and similarly this last one is also not a injective now let's see method to check if a function is or method to check if it is a one one mapping the first method is theoretical method means proving theoretically if f of x is equal to y then it should imply x is equal to y then f of x is called a one one function means means f of x is is equal to f of y then x should be equal to y what does it mean what does this actually mean f of x is equal to f of y then x should be equal to y means if the function have same values it should mean that those both are the same values means you have seen the image of the same value now let's see graphically graphically we can tell that a function is one one or injection if no line parallel to the x axis meets the graph at more than one point means if it take any line parallel to the x axis it should touch the function at only one point now let's see the calculus way now let's see method 3 for finding whether a function is one one or an injection for checking whether f of x is one one function or injection then whether function is only increasing or only decreasing to check whether a function or whether f of x is one one then whether function is only increasing or only decreasing for a function to be one one it should only increase or it should only decrease in its domain then then it is called one one function means the function is only increasing or only decreasing it means that only increasing or only decreasing means the slope is should be greater than 0 or less than 0 the slope is nothing but f dash of x or derivative of x 
so f dash of x should be greater than or equal to 0 or it should be less than or equal to 0 and it should not be both now let's see how many mappings are there in an 1 1 function number of 1 1 mappings if a and b are infinite sets having m and n elements if a and b are finite sets having m and n elements respectively then number of 1 1 functions from a to b are here if you observe carefully x1 can have n images x1 can have n images in set b and x2 can have how many images can x2 have x1 have n images and in an 1 1 function they should not have the same images right means you should take off that one possibility so you will get n minus 1 images and x3 will have n minus 2 images so xm will have n minus m plus 1 n minus m plus 1 images xm can have n minus m plus 1 images so the number of mappings is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into and so on until n minus m plus 1 or it is permutation of n n p m if n is greater than or equal to m then the total 1 1 mappings are n p m or the total 1 1 mappings are 0 if n is less than or equal to n is less than m and it is n p m if n is greater than or equal to m it is the permutations of n to p okay guys this is for today's video i hope you enjoy this video if you're not comment down below why you having if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next video